The federal agent then demanded to know where Harger was traveling to and why. When Harger told the federal agent he was attending Constitutional Sheriffs and Peace Officers Association convention, they swear an oath to that, by the way, in Las Vegas, he was detained for 35 minutes before finally being allowed to board the plane. He was in a database, folks. Then, when he got back off, he was fired. On Tuesday, January 28th, the day after his return, Harger was placed on administrative leave and ordered to the San Dovetail County, New Mexico Sheriff's Douglas C. Wood to disband his entire police department. Due to his political affiliations, what were his political affiliations? While attending the convention, Harger, along with 38 other police officers, signed a declaration affirming their pledge to obey and observe the U.S. Constitution. This is like the Twilight Zone, folks. In addition to refusing to carry out any unconstitutional orders, such as gun confiscation, without constitutionally completed uh, uh, warrants, violation of the Fourth Amendment without probable cause, detainment and incarceration of citizens without probable cause, or working with any military or domestic law enforcement, which is all in the Constitution, Bill of Rights. And uh, it just goes on. I've never seen anything. This, this is secret police. And they, federal global agents... Uh, Jakari, uh, you're out there. Have we located any of the minions going in to be groped, and uh, or do they all run away? They they ran away from us, Alex. When we were getting closer to the state, and we lost our connection, so we're back to where we uh, had a stable connection. But yes, Alex, uh, many people. I'm wondering how aware they are about the uh, the tyranny that goes on here. If they're aware that they're going to have to sacrifice their rights, not even for security, but just to come out here and watch a football game. Well, this is the TSA acting as a an interrogation unit. You go to fly, they interrogate you and then get you fired from your job. Going while you're gone and intimidating and lying about you. This is what the Secret Service does. I know two people in Austin who are managers of companies who just shot their mouths off saying Obama's a traitor, not calling for violence. The Secret Service went to their company heads, in one case in New York, another case at a car dealership, and said, you better fire them if you know what's good for you. That's torturous interference outside the courts. It's siege. And that's how the Nazis did for five years before they started arresting people. They would just go get them fired. I mean, this is, just, this is like the Tea Party being harassed, all of it. These people are criminals. Yeah, it's definitely harassment. You know, when I did the man on the street a few weeks ago at the airport, you know, I asked people, you know, what's the probable cause for you to be searched at the airport? And they said, well, you, just coming to the airport is probable cause. Well, I said, you know, what if you go to an event like the Super Bowl? What's the probable cause? Just showing up, is that a reason enough? For you to be molested, to be violated, to have your rights violated? I don't think so. Meanwhile, the government publicly runs the terrorist and thinks we're so stupid, the CFR called for Obama to publicly endorse al-Qaeda this week. I mean, I can't believe I'm even saying this. In fact, I've got two articles here that I haven't covered yet dealing with this. Here's out of Reuters. Baghdad bombs and shootings kill at least 19. When I saw the name of the city, I knew it was a Shiite city. And at the bottom, I knew what it would say. An al-Qaeda-affiliated Islamic state of Iraq carried out the attacks, the same group that just took over Fallujah again, the same group our government is funding in Syria and in Libya and in Egypt. Meanwhile, here's Israel general, says Al-Qaeda Syrian fighters set up in Turkey and threaten Europe. Of course. I mean, literally, literally, our government runs Al-Qaeda and then uses the Al-Qaeda threat to take our rights, Jakari. You were talking to the guy yesterday about the transhumanism, and he said uh, he was talking to one of his colleagues and said, why do they keep running the same schemes over and over? And his colleague said to him, that because people keep falling for it. And why not, Alex, if you get if you can run Al Qaeda this location, then move them to that location, then move them to that location and people keep falling for it. Why would you change your program? If you if you uh, can catch the Hail Mary every every time, why would you change your football play? Well, that's right. And but then the TSA repeatedly knows I'm coming, is waiting, smiles at me, says I better not cause problems or ask for my autograph, or some guy gets all sexually excited. I, I just can't handle it anymore. I mean, it's literally a license to harass everybody. And, exactly. and we saw that with uh, Alec Baldwin and his daughter. You know, his uh, five-month-old baby girl was uh, randomly selected and, you know, screened at the, at the airport. And they even knew who he was and everything. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like in Atlanta they go, ooh, Jesse Ventura, get on over here. And didn't that happen to Ron Paul as well? Yes, Ron Paul, Rand Paul. But I watch these women literally like the South Park episode, you know, literally going, mm, good looking. I mean, I don't want to imitate them. That's what they were doing. And, and it was just like, mm, oh, mm. and he got so mad he left the country. <laughs> go yeah, ahead, Jakar. Exactly. But you know, when we flew out to the West Coast recently, uh, we were we were patted down, uh, myself and the rest of the crew. 
And Josh, our camera guy, was walking around filming our pat downs, and the guy comes up to him, a uh, TSA guy. He says, "What are you doing out here? You can't be filming out here." But we knew our rights because you, because of the opt out and film campaign, you can film the TSA. They just don't like you to film their checkpoints, which you should be able to do anyway. But you know, Josh was not even filming the checkpoints, and he came over. He's like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "I'm filming." He's like, "Well, I don't like you filming." And I started filming that guy talking to Josh, filming me, <laughs> and uh, it, it didn't turn out too well for the guy because you know he was on his power trip. That's all you have to do. You have to stand up to these people and just say no. All right. And you vote with your dollars. Just hey, guys, when do we have a big space for Jakari to be on with us tomorrow uh, with the guests? Because I'm going to tell listeners now during the three-hour show when we're going to be here Friday with Jakari. Jakari, great job. I'm going to come back and take some final calls here, hit some final news. But I know you're going to have a lot of updates on the nightly news tonight, 7 o'clock Central, for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. You're going to have other reports you're putting up on the Alex Jones channel uh, on YouTube. Uh, and on the Watson channel, and those will be up on InfoWars.com. You'll have live coverage before, during, and after Sunday on my Sunday show, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. Uh, so uh, get out there, find some groups of lemmings, start asking them about how the government runs Al-Qaeda and uh, about proctology exams. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Well, the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me. Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com We've all heard as long as we're not doing anything wrong, we don't have anything to worry about. But what do we do when the people that told us that become lawless and use our cell phones to violate our constitutional rights? Get a privacy case from PrivacyCase.com today and stop this high-tech iron curtain from crushing our right to privacy. The American-made privacy case uses military-grade shielding technology to stop these criminals and thieves in their tracks. PrivacyCase.com When the day comes where the world changes forever, forever, you can be ready at a moment's notice. With Survivalist Camps, the ultimate fully functional off-the-grid survival bug-out house that's completely mobile and ready to go. All the comforts of an RV, but custom-built to outlast any other trailer. Learn more at SurvivalistCamps.com. Due to overwhelming response, limited inventory is available. Be ready with survivalistcamps.com. Survivalist Camps, providing your basic needs to survive. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. news tonight on the nightly news this evening we're probably gonna have sheriff mac on or this particular sheriff this particular police chief who had his department shut down because he dared go to an event trying to organize police to be pro-constitution but most police get sent by the feds to the ADL or Southern Poverty Law Center meetings where they literally badmouth George Washington and the Bill of Rights and Constitution. 
So treason is wonderful, but if you just say, hey, I'm going to uphold the Bill of Rights, you're fired. That is so outrageous. Uh, by the way, you know, Rob Dew's on vacation and some of our other crews out. We hardly have enough crew to be able to even perform stuff and, and get our shows done when a few of our crew are out. That's why it's so important that people continue to fund InfoWars.com by clicking on the sponsors, by buying the high-quality products at InfoWarsStore.com, by getting the InfoWarsLife.com products, because that's how we fund our operation. And we're very close to going to the next level, thanks to all of your help, going up against the globalist. It's so important to filter your water. We have the best gravity-fed filters, the entire family of Pro One, Pro Pure Systems, discounted with promo code WATER. It blows away the competition, InfoWarsStore.com. Dot com. Check out the books, the videos, the t-shirts, the ball caps, the George Washington belt buckles. It's, it's just jam-packed with everything you can imagine. All the highest quality, InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Lorraine in Indiana, thanks for holding her on the air. Hi, Alex. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. I mean... I knew they were planning to turn the TSA into like secret police checkpoints where they kind of disappear people or interrogate them for separate stuff and they have a room full of feds waiting for you to use NSA databases to harass patriots. But now it's it's officially happening. It's pretty scary. Yeah, it's pretty bizarre that, you know, Jakari Jackson is out there, you know, and they're harassing actual, you know, people who are U.S. citizens and yet... We can't even uh, do anything on the borders of our own country. You know, these people come in and no, what we're going to reward them with actual um, citizenship. Well, by the know? way, it's not even a secret, but it's not well known. Illegals fly without IDs. I've seen it all the time. They just walk around with a piece of paper and mumble at the people and they just let them through. Just like the hospitals, because it's all selectively enforced. You understand that? Well, yeah, um, I'm actually an immigrant, and I came to this country from England and uh, actually became uh, a naturalized U.S. citizen. Um, uh, my family actually left uh, England because of the, the tyrannical-type monarchy that's going on over there, right? And we come over here, and now we're kind of looking at the same thing. You know, Obama uh, and his family are like the new royal family. And oh, you know, right. everybody's bowing down to them, and it's just ridiculous. And um, I just want to say that um, it, it really kind of makes me angry when people say, you know, that, oh, we shouldn't call them illegal people. Um, you, know, you know, there's no such thing as an illegal person. Well, that's well, what, she, no that's what they call us in other countries. It's pure bull. It's like, we've got to be wide open, and we've got to pay for everything, and they're going to vote to take your guns now. I mean, we're committing suicide. We've been so gullible so long that that's what this is, and it's a complete joke. I mean, the NSA spying, the groping, telling Texas they'd have F-16s forced down aircraft if they tried to block the TSA. I mean, exactly. The sky is the limit of the level of abuse that they mete out uh, against us. We're going to go to break, do five minutes of overdrive, and talk to Itamio, I think. How do I pronounce that? Itamio? I can't pronounce anything. North American Union News. Then we're going to talk to Steve. Let's we'll talk about immigrants meeting with Governor uh, and more. And we got Mike in Texas says uh, immigrants. Uh, he was talking about police scanner drills at mall. We'll be right back. Be ready, callers. I'm going to go to you quickly. And then more you coverage tonight. To Seven o'clock Central. PrisonPlanet.tv. If you're not a member, become one now. And then we'll be right back. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The 
KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic Relocation 3rd Edition by Joel Skousen. When Disaster Strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com.